Sometimes when you're printing a spherical object or something close to a sphere, you're going to have one side that's facing the print bed. It's going to need some overhangs. And you're going to have a top part where as it gets close to the top, the hot end is going to hop around for these little dome-like areas. And it's going to cause some unevenness in the layer lines and stuff sometimes. So to avoid this, I sometimes slice the object in half. The center facing downward. And what you end up with is a part that is two halves. And you can glue them together and you will end up with something that looks almost, if you didn't know any better, like it was injection molded. This isn't going to work for every object you print, but there are a lot of objects where you'll benefit from slicing it in half like this. You can use programs like 3D Builder or other programs to uh, modify your STL files. So uh, give it a try. It works better for some objects than others, but it has really made a difference for some types of prints, at least for me it has. Anyway.